David Price standing in for Meredith Vieira, and boy, have I had a great time giving away somebody else's money. <laughs> now, yesterday, stay-at-home dad Charlie Esser ended the show by winning this check right here for $25,000. And now, now, Charlie, everyone in the studio is rooting for you not only to take this check, but this check for $50,000. And then, Charlie, this Capital One check for $100,000. And then this Capital One check for $250,000. Yes. And if all goes well, we'll go through a couple more checks before we give you this one for $1 million. Now, as I said, You've won $25,000. You're just five questions away from winning $1 million. And you have your Switch the Question lifeline now. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Audience, are you ready? Yeah! Let's play Millionaire. Charlie, for $50,000. On the sitcom 30 Rock, the characters work at a network owned by what unlikely parent company? Shinehart Pajama Company, Shinehart Wig Company, Shinehart Plastic Utensil Company, or Shinehart Mustard Company? Oh. You know, I watch this show all the time. And I remember the joke. Uh, uh, they actually don't mention this particular gag that often on the show. They usually mention the other company uh, that people are much more familiar with that I was expecting to see. That's not here. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yes, it is. It is. It is. I have a strong feeling. I have a strong feeling towards one of these. And it is a guess. You have one lifeline left. That is to switch the question. Yeah. But it be, could be something that I am even less familiar with. But I'm going to go. Wigs seem funny. So I'm going to go with B, Shinehart Wig Company. Final answer. And we'll just let the chips fall where they may. Let's see how funny it is to win $50,000. Yes! 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 I think I have justified being a stay-at-home dad and watching TV all day. I, I, I think you've turned it into a very profitable <laughs> venture. What are you going to do with, with this money? Uh... Well, pay off a lot of bills, <laughs> and uh, maybe buy a new car, and uh, definitely it's going to help that move to Chicago go a lot easier. I think so, too. Are you ready now to play for $100,000? As ready as it'll ever be. Let's play millionaire. <laughs> the melody haunts my reverie is a famous Roy Lichtenstein work that depicts a woman singing the lyric from what iconic song? Stardust, Night and Day, Misty, or Body and Soul? You know what? I know Roy Lichtenstein's work. Big fan. I have no idea what the answer is to this one. Uh, I don't even have an inkling, and any one of these could be the right answer, so I'm going to switch the question. Okay. Do you want to take a guess? Not really. Because <laughs> if, if it's the one I guess, I'm going to feel like a fool, but, uh, you know, not worth a risk. So I'm going to say I would have picked body and soul, and let's see if that was right or wrong. Well, you know what? Looks like you used your lifeline well because you would have chosen wrong. The answer was Stardust.
now the computer will now switch the question with another question valued at one hundred thousand dollars charlie what is the international radio signal for an emergency that is not quite as severe as a May Day. Trey Trey, Rel Rel, Tan Tan, Pan Pan. Uh, no idea. And it's not worth a gamble. I'm going to walk away. Final answer. You're going to walk away. Too big a risk. Not worth the risk. $50,000 is not bad for one day's work, as far as I'm concerned. Not at all. Let's see what the answer was. Do you have a guess? It is pan, pan, pon, pon, as some people say. And that was top of your mind or no? You have $50,000. You have been such a terrific person now on the show. Stick around one second. Don't go away. We're going to meet our next contestant right here on Millionaire. And we come back. brand new contestant, Peter Lamont of Bridgewater, New Jersey. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Great to see you. You ready to go? I'm ready. Now, you and I have something in common. Yes, we do. And that is a love of? Flying. Oh, it's ter it's just terrific to be up in the air and flying a plane. Now, do you, have you taken lessons? I have. I've gotten to my touch and goes. I've got about 20 hours and logged, and I'd love to finish all my certificates. You know what? A million dollars could not only get you completely trained, it could buy you a lovely Cessna or Cirrus, or maybe uh, a down payment on a jet. Sure. And then I could come visit. You could take me on the plane to where. Anytime you want. I, I think we got a good thing going. Absolutely. All right? Let's get there. We're there. All right, you ready Let's to go. go? Let's do it. Audience, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's play. For $100. A person who finds himself in a perfect state of happiness will often declare, I've died and gone to where? Camelot, Atlantis, heaven, or Arby's? <laughs> the answer is C, heaven. Final answer. And it is indeed. Hopefully that's what you're feeling right now for $200. Peter, here we go. Episodes of the MTV reality series, My Super Sweet 16, typically culminate with what event? A foot race, a birthday party, a jury verdict, or a theater audition? Lots of laughter. That would be B, birthday party. Final, Final answer. answer. And it is. Onward we go now to $300. And your question is, which of these countries features no consecutive vowels or consonants in its name? Bangladesh, Papua New Guinea, United Arab Emirates, or Zimbabwe? United Arab Emirates, C, final answer. Very quick with that after a study, and you're correct, my friend. So the $500 we go, you continue to fly on through here. Let's just do it. Let's and in up. aviation terms, you're doing a good job winging it. In 2006, what household brand used the website plopplopfizzfizz.com to promote a contest to rewrite its famous jingle? Flintstones Vitamins, Band-Aid, Chapstick, or Alka-Seltzer? That would be D, Alka-Seltzer. Final answer. Oh, what a relief it is. You got it. And now we're playing for $1,000. Published in 1798, a well-known poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge is titled, The Rhyme of the Ancient What? Mariner, Scrivener, Soothsayer, or Vicar? For $1,000, A, Mariner. Final answer. And you are sailing onward, my friend. Now you have a minimum of $1,000. For $2,000 now. Die Hard fan Jack Nicholson rarely misses the home games of what pro team? The Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Dodgers, New York Knicks, or the New York Yankees? 
Nicholson's always in the front row of the Los Angeles Lakers games. A final answer. You know what? You are holding court right now, my friend. Stick around. You have $2,000 right now. Let's see if you can get to four with a new return. With more millionaire right after this. Price leaving the light on for Meredith Vieira, who's taking a little break this week. We're joined by Peter Lamont from Bridgewater, New Jersey, doing really well. $2,000 in your pocket already. We're playing for $4,000. Now, when you told your daughter Allison mm -hmm. that you were going to be on the show, yes. she was a little bit confused. A little bit. W what happened? She said, you're going to meet Howie Mandel? I okay, so no. let's just go through this. Uh, <laughs> she's going to be disappointed because she didn't uh, meet Howie Mandel. And then Meredith was on vacation, and you wound up with, with, with just the weather guy just from the, from the early guy. show. Yeah. I feel fine. How about you? I'm fine with Good. it, yeah. yeah let's Good. just keep going, yeah. All right. You Absolutely. ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Let's play. For $4,000, in Italian, the tomato is known as a pomodoro, which roughly translates into apple of what? Earth? Fire, gold, or kings? I have an inkling on this, but I'm not 100% sure. You have all of your lifelines left. And we're in New York, and I do believe that the people here from New York will know this answer, so I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Okay, audience, Peter needs your help. And if you're prepared, vote now. Okay, Peter, 56% said gold, followed by just 19% for earth, 11% for fire. King said 14%. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards was gold. So I'm going to trust my Italian comrades here from New York and go with gold. C, final answer. Let's see if everyone was right, and they are as good as gold. For $8,000 now, the numbers continue to get bigger. Once thought to resemble the tip of a sword, the xiphoid process is part of what? Scapula, sternum, humerus, or mandible? I, I can't believe I know this. I just can't believe I know this. It is part of your sternum. B, final answer. No. Now, you got that sternum, and sternum is correct for $8,000. I can't believe you got that either, but we'll figure out how in just a little bit. Right now, though, let's take a break and we'll be back with Millionaire in a moment. Welcome back to Millionaire, everybody. Meredith's taking the week off. Dave Price from the early show filling in with Peter Lamont. And uh, first of all, I cannot figure out how you figured out that the sternum was shaped like a sword. In, in no time flat. It, it was the xiphoid process. I knew it was in the sternum area. I just remember from watching ER, believe it or not. So you've basically learned all your medical knowledge from, from watching ER. I'm a trained, trained ER doctor. <laughs> and onward we go. All right, you ready to play? I'm ready. All right, let's play. For $16,000. What metal band undergoes therapy in a 2004 documentary subtitled Some Kind of Monster? Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Korn, or Metallica? I'm pretty sure I know this too. Great. That comes in very handy on this show. Yeah, you, you would think. Questions and answers? How do you know this one? I'm actually a fan of the band. I uh, thought you learned this on ER, too. I, I don't yes, know. That, that too. Uh, the answer is D, Metallica. Let's see if it indeed is D, Metallica. Is that your final answer? Final answer. 
Metallica. Oh, come on. You now have $16,000. This next question, if you're right, will get you to $25,000. You have two lifelines left, and you are just six questions away from $1 million. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Let's go to it. Which of these major Canadian cities is primarily located on an island? Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, or Ottawa? Now, you're a travel agent, am I right? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. You know what, let right. me just let me just use the 50 50 just okay. to be sure here okay you want to use a lifeline yes a 50 50 absolutely computer please randomly take away two of the wrong answers oh man i'm glad i used that thought it was something else yeah i did if you get this right the minimum you'll leave with is twenty five thousand dollars if you get this wrong, you leave with a thousand. Hey, I'm going to use the phone a friend. Okay. Who are we going to call? I'm going to call my wife, Lisa. Okay. We're going to call Lisa and get her on the line right now. Hello? Lisa? Yes? Yeah. It's Dave Price from Millionaire. How are you? Okay, how are you? Good. I have your husband, Peter, on the phone, and he needs your help. Okay. He's playing for $25,000. All right. Okay. And, Peter, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. Canadian cities, Montreal or Ottawa, which one is primarily an island? Ten seconds. I don't know. And I'm not getting anything. Three seconds. Anything. Nothing at all? I got nothing. Okay. Okay, the choices. Montreal or Ottawa. Which of these major Canadian cities primarily located on an island? I honestly do not know 100%, and uh, I've had a terrific time here. Everybody was fantastic. I love the show. You did a great job, and I'm going to walk you. away, and that's my final answer. Do you want to you want to take a guess as to which I one would it say was? D, Ottawa. That's what you would have guessed? Yeah. And the answer was Montreal. You made the wise decision, my friend. You leave with sixteen thousand dollars. We are out of time. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for coming to Millionaire. You were terrific. Thank you. Folks, that's it for me this week. Meredith will be back from all of us here at Millionaire. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.